units headquarters. Be advised, K-17 has a possible 1055 in progress. Officer Giebert, he's got a potential DUI. I got two kids. I can smell alcohol coming from you. I had a beer earlier. What's earlier? About three hours ago. Three hours ago? Oh, yeah. Okay. I need to make sure that you're okay to drive. Would you be willing to do field sobriety tests? Female driving, I dealt with her in the past. She pulled over. As she started talking to me, I could smell the odor of alcohol on her breath. So, um, how much did you have to drink? I, I'm just trying to smell it. I had a beer earlier. And this guy already hates me since October. It's a thing. All right, heavy step over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it facing the front of my vehicle. Okay. Follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head, all right? Do you understand that? Can I just start her? Okay. Now I think that would be a good idea if you called a cab because I don't think they should see this. Just try to focus on the finger, all right? Who's this? Are you here to pick up the children? Yeah. Okay. It's all right. You don't need to cry. You don't need to cry. All righty. We'll give you a call. Okay. Thank you for coming to get the kids. Deep breath. <coughs> PBT is 0.115. Really? Yeah. So, you know what the legal limit is, right? Zero eight. Zero eight. Based off of what I see from my field sobriety test, I'm gonna have to place you under arrest for DUI. It's very important that we keep the community safe by keeping intoxicated drivers off the street. But when you have children in the car especially, that's no dice for me. K-19 headquarters, we have a 1068 at the 400 block of Poplar. Officer Giebert pulled over a vehicle. In the passenger side, is that? Yeah, I just, I just picked him up. Hey, can you come back and talk with me real quick? Giebert made a traffic stop because of that tail light out right there, um, and then found somebody that he knew that has a warrant. He didn't show up to court, man. When was the court date? This morning at 10 o'clock. I just checked it and it said it was on the 20th. Or... Today is the 20th. Oh, it is. Oh, crap. Hey, look in the bag. A bag of crystal meth. The biggest problem here would be drugs. But it's very easy to drive by and not see it. This is your vehicle, right? Yeah. Is that any of your stuff in that bag? No, that's all his. That... None of that's mine. Did he leave anything else in the vehicle other than what's in the bag? Not that I'm aware of. Would you give me consent to check? Because he's got some meth in his bag. Can open the door for you? Would you let me look? Yeah, you can go ahead. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's okay. not mine. No, no, okay. it's mine. OK, so we checked this. Would you let me check your pockets? I just want to make sure that he didn't Every try to. Every time you swim me, bro, it's like I, I'm, a, I'm like kind of tired of it, dude. Well? Like, I, what am I, like, I think. But, but, but you got to look at it from my perspective. Remember when I arrested you and you had heroin in your pocket? Which is not mine. Well, trouble follows the people that you hang around with, man. Wait here, because I got to call probation, let them know I had contact with you, all right? You know how that works. Hey, Jill, Officer Giebert calling. But I think I have one of your customers here. When I asked him about if he had anything on him, he was very defensive. Before we get into this, am I gonna find anything? You're not gonna find anything. No guns, knives, needles, explosives, drugs on no, there, you? There's nothing on me. Okay. Uh, I realized when I was getting out, there was something on my seat. There's something on your seat? Yeah. What's on your seat? Some crystal meth. It's, it's, not, it's not mine. It's not yours? It's not mine. You clean? I mean, I'm gonna take that as a no. You see underneath here, there's some more baggies. Here's the deal. You're under arrest for violating probation. 